Got to, man. Got to bounce back. Shout out to my homie Keys, Xavier Keys, on the vocals on this. Okay. Honestly, they couldn't stop me if they wanted to. Got to get up, go out and get it, and that's what I'm going to do. I've been focused. I'm not hungry. Yo, I'm starving, dude. Grind mode with my team. We're making these power moves. Honestly, they couldn't stop me if they wanted to. Got to get up, go out and get it, and that's what I'm going to do. I've been focused. I'm not hungry. You're going to starve them, dude. In grind mode with my team. We're making these power moves. Because I ain't got no time to be wasting with all this music I'm making. Man, I'm tired of being impatient. So I keep making these moves here with my crew. Vow to myself to always stay true. So I don't care what nobody else do. I know why. Like an erection, bumps in the road, but nah, I ain't stressing. I don't work out, but homie, I'm flexing. Every time I get on the beat and I bless it. Rise and shine, and I never let another come and stop my grind, because I grind all night at the gig. No lie, then it's back in the booth for some overtime. Come on. Nope. Mm-mm. Shout out to Miss Alma Ramos. Shout out to Miss B. Uh-huh. I said, uh, hey, hey. Hey, my mom's told me to get them, so I don't care what y'all say. I just keep grinding. Yeah, I stay working, cuz it's, you know I'm, I said, uh, that's right. In the lab with a pen and a pad, I, I, let's ride. Make it look so easy, don't it make y'all mad? One thing I know, one thing is certain. I can't stop, won't stop, cause me and my team stay working. One thing I know, one thing is certain. Can't stop, won't stop. On the grind, getting mine, I'm working. No sleep, spit heat, killing these tracks, and I'm not gonna stop till I'm up on top. I'm supposed to be. Everywhere I go, I scream as Pete. We more than a crew, we a family. We're gonna try to get a couple Grammys. G have them sitting on top of the mantelpiece. Thank God. Go hard, they just mad cause I'm on my job But where I'm from is the ground to starve I'm starving, I just can't do it Not having it, unthinkable So I turn in the stretch, I'm strong And now I can reach the unreachable Let's go Hey, Trying to Yo, they I said I can't sit still I just laugh at y'all haters So uh Yeah, hey, 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 hey. Moms told me so why don't let's go? I just keep yeah I stay cause it's you know I'm I said I that's right uh in the lab with a pen and a pad I I let's ride make it look so easy doesn't make you mad one thing I know one thing is certain I can't stop won't stop. Cause me and my team stay working One thing I know One thing is certain Can't stop, won't stop On the ground, get in mind, I'm working Don't ever let anybody tell you That you can't get what you want Whatever you dreaming for, you get out there and you get it You make it happen Never mind the haters Real still Cause I All day Always Get them Yes sir I'm grinding, stay working, hey, I said I, that's right, in the lab with a pen and a pad I, let's ride, make it look so easy, don't it make you mad, one thing I know, one thing is certain, can't stop, won't stop, cause me and my team stay working, one thing I know, one thing is certain, can't stop, won't stop, on the ground, get in mind, I'm working. Got to Yes, sir. Love him. Rise and shine. Pour yourself a cup of coffee and tune in to Good Morning Aurora. News, weather, and really cool interviews. Monday through Friday from 8 to 9 a.m.
Good morning, Aurora. Good morning, Aurora. Good morning, Aurora. The time is 8.03 a.m. We took a few minutes, took a few extra minutes after 8 o'clock, had to let the music play through. Uh, but you are listening to and watching Good Morning, Aurora, the second largest city's first daily news podcast. And it's Friday. We all made it. We made it collectively. How about that? So let's let's give ourselves a round of applause. I know. I know. I know you're like, yeah, it's been a long week. It has been a long week. It's been a long, productive, interesting week. Jennifer Ryan Mayton, good morning to you. Anna Tridre, good morning to you as well. Uh, Valeria, good morning. Dora Sanchez Soto was here, good morning. Tom Hebert, Davi Samantha Danner, good morning. All of you great folks. Um, yeah, so we made it to Friday. I'm glad to be here. I'm happy that you guys are all here and doing good and looking good as well. Um, one of the things that I noticed this week was that, boy, you go up, you go down, you go north, you go south, you go all around the town and you see great things happening and a lot of great buildings uh, coming back to life. I saw a lot. There's a lot of construction going on. Once again, I keep telling you, take a look at Broadway and Galena. Uh, the old terminal building, it's coming back to life. The doors are open and you can look and say you can stand on the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, you can look almost all the way through the building. There's a whole bunch of drywall stacked up on the side and there's cords and lights and cobwebs hanging down. But look at the building, see it and think potential. Think what it will be. Think what will come uh, very soon here. Craft Urban. It was open. Uh, a few friends of mine went down there and had some good stuff. Looks like they tried the pot roast and a couple other things. Craft Urban looks like it'll be a really good surprise and a delight here in our fantastic city. The time is 8.05 a.m. How was the week for you guys, though? That's what I want to know. Before we go any further, um, I got the news that you love and the news that we all need. But before we go any further, you guys can put in the chat at your leisure how you feel. How do you feel today? It's not just about me. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. It's about all of us. We are a team here. We're a collective family. So let me know how you feel in the chat. Uh, how was the week? I want to know. Let me know. All right. Josue Pais is here. Good morning to you as well. Beautiful summer Friday. Absolutely. It is, Davi. It is a beautiful summer Friday. Okay, guys. So um, we had a great amount of uh, interviews this week. We had Brooke Shanley return back to the show. That was a really, really, really good conversation. Uh, we talked about gun safety and uh, recent events taking place, things happening in Yorkville, all over the place, all over the state. And we also mentioned uh, that the mayor of Highland Park was in Washington, D.C. to lobby on behalf of gun legislation or new gun legislation. So we will update as that goes on. The time is, uh, what time is it? 806. Davy says, she, uh, I feel great, and so was my week. Glad to hear that. Glad that you feel great and glad that you had a great week. Good morning, Aurora. I had a great week as well. Real productive week. Lots of great um, lots of great feedback from our listeners and our fans and guests and people just like you. want to just reiterate to you guys as well one more time. I know you might get tired of me saying it, but I really do care. Um, Good morning, Aurora is a show that is for everyone, everybody. So please remember that. Please keep that in mind. Your life, your experiences and all the things that you go through and have been through as an individual are what makes you a person. You're part of our city. Your story contributes to the city. So it's all one big melting pot. That's what we have here. So with that being said, if you guys have any good news going on out there or you know anything happening, a lot of you know me personally, send me a message, shoot me a text or send us an email. Good morning, Aurora, I-L at gmail.com. Victoria is here. Good morning to you, my dear friend, Victoria. Glad to see you. And I hope that you had a great week as well. Okay. So let's kick things off, guys. Let's kick things off. Let's get right into what we've got going on in the news. So uh, lots of Paramount stuff, uh, new seasons and uh, new shows are coming up soon. I'll get to that. But the breaking news that we have, you're going to love this. And actually, let me get ready for that. All 
right, we got breaking news, and the time is now 8.08 a.m. So get ready for this. Sugar Skull City is coming back, and there is a call for art. Uh, Sugar Skull City, once again, Aurora Downtown is going to be turning uh, downtown to Sugar Skull City from October 15th to November 6th uh, to coincide with Day of the Dead events on first uh, during First Fridays on November 4th. Get ready for that. Uh, this new year, Aurora Downtown is hosting the Sugar Skull City-themed art and market from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Society 57 on Saturday, November 7th. Saturday the 7th. Let's write that down. Saturday the 7th. All right. Um, so Saturday, November 7th. That's going down. I'm going to be around for that, boy. Um, now, or excuse me, November 5th. Started in 2020 by the Downtown Aurora Group, Sugar Skull City will feature dozens of participating businesses, a scavenger hunt, and activities for all ages while honoring a cultural and local tradition. How cool is that? I like that. Uh, as part of Sugar Skull City, Aurora Downtown announced a call for art. Artists of all skill levels are invited to submit a 12 by 18 piece work uh, depicting pan de muerto, a traditional Mexican sweet bread used to celebrate Day of the Dead. Damn, pan de muerto. I like that. Uh, so the call for art is out there. Artists, community members, youth, and families are invited to honor this Mexican tradition of Day of the Dead. The time is now 8.09 a.m. Aisha Saxon is here. Good morning, and good morning to all of you guys. We turned the camera on a little bit early today. You know, got a brand new setup in here, as you guys can see. We've been doing, we've been doing so much. So... Uh, the other side of the room is coming along real well. Good morning, Aurora's expanding. We're getting a little little big up in here, so we had to stretch things out. Uh, but that's the breaking news for the morning so far. Sugar Skull City is coming back. Uh, once again, it's going to be October 15th through November 6th, and it coincides first Friday is November 4th of this year, and then uh, it continues. So get ready for that, guys. It's going to be a really good time, and if you are an artist... Please contribute your work so we can see it out and about in our our lovely downtown. All right. Aisha Saxon is here. Good morning. See you, Aisha Saxon, dear friend of the show. Aisha Saxon uh, is a uh, precinct committee person, just like me, as a matter of fact, come to find out. So uh, Aisha say I saw here's Aisha Saxon's cool. Aisha, how you doing? I'm going to talk a little bit. So Aisha Saxon. Um, her daughter, Transforming Rain. Get ready for that. August 6th, Aurora Public Library. The Dream Scribers, a lot of fantastic youth who are um, you know, very creative. They've all written books. Great people. Uh, Jennifer Mendoza was here yesterday with her daughter, Erica Marie Mendoza, who gave me a book. Hold on. I got it right here. Check out the book. Very cool. See that? Oh, yeah. Two awesome friends. Uh, so Evelyn Marie Mendoza was here uh, just yesterday. And this is a really cool book. So anyway, August 6th, all of these young, fantastic authors are going to be at the Aurora Public Library downtown. That's the uh, Santori branch. And it'll be really cool from 1 to 3 p.m. Come on out and meet them, get some autographs, and buy some of their great books. Time is 8, 11 a.m. Michael Rayford is here. Good morning, homeboy. Right back at you, my man. Michael Rayford Media, slash, or excuse me, hashtag how money works. Get in touch with our dear friend, Michael Rayford. He does great interviews as well. Talks to a lot of interesting people. And he's also very much uh, into, or excuse me, affiliated with great networking uh, events wonderful um seminars and workshops things like that transforming yourself rebuilding wealth and uh women entrepreneurs awesome stuff time is 8 12 a.m okay i got a great amount of news here from our friends we got jobs to talk about today too ladies and gentlemen if you got a young person who needs a job tell them to look no further tune in to good morning aurora all right Here's the news that's going on from our friends of Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry. Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry located at 834 North Highland Avenue in Aurora. Fantastic place. Great staff. Shout out to our dear friend Mary Ann Renner, executive director. But um, Boss Babes was there yesterday. Wick Woodhouse, Shannon Gutierrez, and our dear friend Marissa Amoni of Aurora Downtown. Um, there's many great things taking place, and Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry does a lot. They have a community garden, amongst other initiatives that they have ongoing in the city all the time. If you're not familiar with them, please get to know them. However, I want to read the uh, message from the director um, real quick. It's very heartfelt, 
So I'm going to take myself to a commercial here. The time is 8.13 a.m. Jen Mendoza, good morning to you as well. Jen Mendoza is a uh, dear friend of the show. Let's get to know the Greater Fox Valley Area Kiwanis Club. Let's get to know Moms for Moms. Let's get to know Moms for Kids. And let's get to know everybody who's doing something positive, pertinent, and worthwhile in our city and community. Okay. Message from the director of Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry, Diane Renner. Where does the time go? Summer is still here, yet we are thinking of school supplies and stores are beginning to roll out Halloween. Many of us have had a wonderful opportunity for vacations, cooking out, amusement parks, concerts, and more. However, our pantry guests don't talk about these luxuries. In fact, most of them are stressed with what's to come. It's been a really hard year. So it's no surprise that our guests are watching every penny they spend because they don't know what the rest of this year will bring. The inflation rate of 9.1% is the highest it's been in 40 years. And like many of us, it's hit our guests hard. At Marie Wilkes Food Pantry, we feel this historic spike in costs. We're having to spend more on food to stock our pantries, not to mention our gas costs have doubled for food rescue. More neighbors visit every day, an increase of more than 34% compared to the last time, uh, excuse me, compared to the same time last year. Grocery prices are soaring, rent is up, wages aren't keeping pace, parents are skipping meals so their kids can eat. Our older neighbors, neighbors are skipping critical medication so they can pay rent. Together we can help. Donate today, and Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry will put your gift to immediate use supporting our community, turning $1 into eight meals. Thank you for providing hope for our collective future. I bring that up, and I want to talk about that real quick. Uh, the time is 8.15 a.m. Thank you for just joining. But I want to bring that up and talk about that real quick because I, myself, personally, me, I, me, Curtis Pipe, me, me, your friend, the guy you know, I, myself, personally have been able to benefit and have a Thanksgiving dinner at the height of the pandemic when I lost my job. I was able to do all that with the help of Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry, Aurora Area Interfaith Food Pantry, and people like that who come together to donate money, which translates into food. I think a lot of times we kind of get caught up, you know, we we know if, if, if the price of our latte goes up a dollar, we're upset. The gas price goes up 84 cents. We're outraged. A dollar can feed eight people if it's donated to the food pantry. So I think it's kind of, you know, I, I, I don't like to preach too much. But I do think it's worth just pointing out, kind of shaking it up, wiping the dust off of it one more time and taking a taking a look big picture to see that if we're doing good, we got to make sure other people are doing good. And a good way to do that, if you can't get out the doors, you can't you don't have time to go volunteer, you don't have time to donate blood. You can donate to the food pantry if you want to make a difference in a big way. The time is 816 a.m. Okay, in addition to that great message from the uh, executive director, Diane Renner, and if you guys don't follow Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry on uh, Facebook or any of the social media sites, please do. If you have Twitter, give them a follow as well. Share their information. They do a whole lot uh, here in our collective community. Now that we got that message out of the way, um, here's some of their great stuff they got going on. They have dinners um, happening. I'll tell you about it. The favorite meal of the year for the food pantry is coming very soon. Please join Marie Wilkinson Food Pantry for the Harvest Dinner, the Garden Harvest Dinner. It'll be August 13th. 6 p.m. will be appetizers and drinks. At 7 p.m. is the five-course dinner. Tickets are available. Uh, you need to register as well. Enjoy farm-to-table dining al fresco under a white canopy at sunset. Ooh! You know what? Hold on. Let's do that again. I like that. Bring that back, DJ. Hold on. Scratch that. Scratch that. <laughs> Hold on, let's read that again. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? All right. Enjoy farm-to-table dining al fresco under a white canopy at sunset. Tour the garden. Meet our farmers and share our harvest. Oh, I love it. 
Oh, that's the power of words, ladies and gentlemen. That's the power of words. Um, it's going to be Saturday, Oct or excuse me, Saturday, August 13th, 6 to 10 p.m., 834 Highland Avenue here in Aurora. Special thanks go out to Urban Farm Manager Rob and uh, Charity Blooms. Great place. And they're sending a lot of good volunteers. The time is 818 a.m. Josie Mendoza Geller says, good morning from Edwardsville, Illinois. Shout out to Edwardsville, Illinois, down there in the middle. Of is that central Illinois, Josie? Is that central or is that southern in Edwardsville? Are you central or southern? Let us know where you are. We'll give a shout out to the whole area. Also, do not forget, Fill the Bowls is coming up. This popular community event is back. Join for Fill the Bowls on October 16th in Aurora. Restaurants will offer a, quote, taste of the Fox Valley. Hmm, I love it. Draw down. Only 300 tickets will be sold for only $50 with winners throughout the afternoon. This is going to be October 16th from 1 to 4 p.m. at Gaslight Manor Banquets, 2485 Church Road here in Aurora. Adults are fifty dollars. Children six to twelve are twelve bucks, and under five, kids are free. Taste of the Fox Valley features over twenty-five restaurants, mimosas and Bloody Marys, silent auction, raffle, wine pool, and live music. Great stuff. Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry has been nourishing lives since 1957. The Marie Spirit Award on that particular day will be at 2.30 to 3 o'clock p.m. The time is 8.19 a.m. We are moving right along, ladies and gentlemen, moving right along. Once again, it's Friday. Happy Friday to all of you great dear people out there. Hope that you're having a great day. Hope that you have a prosperous weekend coming up. Uh, the question of the day so far, because it changes every now and then, is let us know how your week was. Put in the chat what kind of week you had. Was it a good week? Was it a tough week? Was it a bad week? Was it a hard week? Strenuous? Was it prosperous? Let me know. Okay. Uh, job opportunities. The Paramount Theater is hiring for a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. Brent. Fresco. Oh, BTP. BTP. Hit the claps for BTP. <laughs> BTP, ladies and gentlemen, is my man. That stands for Brent the Producer. BTP is the number one. He's the number one. That's my boy. Good morning to you, Brent. Near St. Louis is what Josie says. And Josie's or Jim and Dozer says he had a busy, super busy, but excellent week. Glad to hear that, Josie. Norma Peterson. Good morning to you, Norma Peterson. Norma Peterson is the executive director of Document the Abuse. Uh, was a great time. Good stuff. Marie Wilkinson won the best nonprofit at yesterday's Chamber Business Excellence last night. Good stuff. Uh, yes, that's right. The Aurora Aurora Chamber had their Business Excellence Dinner and Awards. Um, it was at Brio Gravity. It looked like it was very well attended. Shouts out to all the people who were there in attendance. And uh, shouts out to our dear friends of uh, uh, Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry. Michael says, I just sent you a flyer for my next workshop in Aurora. Thank you very much, Michael Rayford. Ladies and gentlemen, if you got news, send it on over. Good morning, Aurora, IL at gmail.com. Let's move on. I got, oh my God, it's 821. Okay. Um, the Aurora Civic Center Authority operates the Paramount Theater, Copley Theater, River Edge Park, and Paramount School of the Arts in Aurora, Illinois. As an organization, they are able to provide the best in arts and entertainment due to the work of the dedicated and responsible staff. If you have skills and experience that would be an asset to the team, they would love to meet you. Um, so there are a lot of jobs. Now let's go over them real quick. And I want you guys to know this is on their website too. Operational cleaning staff, audience services associates, uh, the banquet setup crew, security guard, bar back, you need to be bass certi or excuse me, Bassett certified for that. Front of house assistant director, COVID-19 safety officer, operational cleaning staff supervisor. Uh, cleaning staff is full time as well. Accounting manager, graphic designer, IT support analyst, and you can be a full or part time event coordinator. Uh, lots of great jobs. Lots of great jobs. So if you or somebody you know is in need of employment or you have a lazy young kid who plays, uh, what's the thing? Uh, in my day, it was Nintendo. Xbox, you got to you play the Xbox all day. Get them out there and get them a job. Great place to work. All right. 
Um, so all of these jobs can be found online at the Paramount's website. So please get to know them and check it out. And uh, let me know what you think about any of the jobs. And if you get hired, we do expect a discount as long as it doesn't get you in any trouble. Right. All right. Josie Mendoza Geller says that she had a great week because I visited with my son, Tim. I hadn't seen him in months. It's a downside of raising kids. They grow up. Yes, Josie was out there with her son. And I saw that. I saw that she uh, that you look like, you know what, Josie, you guys, I saw that you went out. And you had crab legs, too. I saw that crab legs on the plate, whatever restaurant that was. You made me jealous. OK, Anna Tridra says hey, um, she was at the Boss Babes event. How about that? I'm glad glad that she went out there for that. Um, it was a phenomenal week, beautiful weather, and lots of networking. Yo, BTP, new addition to our family yesterday, Michael Rayford, new addition to the family. Congratulations. So you're a grandfather times two? Is that it? Let me know. Tracy Duran is here. Good morning and happy Friday with you as well. Okay. So now I want to go into, I got a quick piece of news for you guys, and then I got Nami, uh, then we'll get back to um the next thing which is going to be godzilla but uh real quick who is nami kdk nami is the national alliance on mental illness kdk stands for kane south dekalb and kendall counties their mission is to provide free mental health education support and advocacy to individuals family members and communities they offer peer-led support groups, educational presentations, connections to community resources, volunteer and internship opportunities, and advocacy opportunities as well. Family support groups are a support group of individuals that have family members or loved ones that are experiencing symptoms of a mental health condition. Connections. Now that's a support group for individuals who are experiencing symptoms of a mental health condition. BIPOC a support group for individuals that are part of the black, indigenous, people of color community that are experiencing symptoms of a mental health condition. And conversamos, let's talk, an expressive writing class offered in English and Spanish aimed at working to end the stigma surrounding mental health. To learn more about NAMI KDK and what they do, you can send them an email at info at NAMI KDK, N-A-M-I-K-D-K dot org, or go to their website www.namikdk.org. Good stuff. 8.25 a.m. is the time. Okie dokie. Curtis, I missed your show and you probably discussed it, but before, hey, I need to know what everybody thinks. A few weeks ago at City Council Public Comment Speaker Rick Lawrence asked Mayor Urban and City Manager Alexander to set down. What's the skinny on it? Set down. I don't know, actually. Uh, don't know. Not sure. I watched um, the last city council meeting that I watched. Um, I don't remember a public speaker by that name. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the set down was. The last time I watched a um, the last time I watched a city council meeting, uh, and I should do better to report to you guys. But the last city council meeting that I watched, um, there was a there was a vote on not raising the ta there's a um the the games that are inside of bars here in Aurora there's a tax or a fee or something that they pay the bar that's in pays the tax and then the operator of the machine pays the tax too and they were voting on not raising the fees and they decided that they were they were not going to raise these fees for another year and the raising of the fee was for $50 now that's the last time I watched the city council meeting um and i don't remember i don't remember any of that so or step down step down oh i didn't see that uh yeah i didn't see that that would have been news i didn't that's not what i saw at that meeting i guess i missed that one um hey i think we got a i think we got a we got a sound effect for that yeah, that works. <laughs> I didn't see that. Uh, I'll have to go back and take a look. The time is now 827 a.m. Dan Barrero is here. Good morning to you, Dan. Good to see you. Um, okay. 
My son is five and new daughter yesterday. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, you're not a grandfather yet. Okay. Congratulations, Michael Rafer, on a brand new addition to the Rafer family. Glad to see it. Um, Tracy watched it and it was a hot mess. I've heard these. I've heard they're turning into a hot mess, ladies and gentlemen. I've That's the that phrase is what I keep hearing. Um, but I didn't see that. I've started to a lot of you guys, you know, a lot of you guys were friends in, in uh, real life. You know that. Um, we're planning for a very big new fundraiser. It's going to be September 17th, uh, for work. And you also know that, um, you know, I, I work in 5 PM to 7 PM. We do zoom calls still. Um, so if I'm not watching the city council meeting, I'm most likely on zoom. Um, okay. So that's the NAMI KDK information for you, dear guys. Uh, don't forget that Movie Mondays has returned. Um, so the first one was 200 cartas. The next one is going to be August 1st, this Monday coming up. Um, I will be there to see Godzilla at the Paramount Theater presented in Japanese with English subtitles. 1954 classic black and white. Um, but what was the step down about? You guys can let me no, what was the step down about? Why would they have to do that? Liz Borunda is here. Good morning to you, Liz. And Norman Peterson says, congratulations to our dear friend, Michael Rayford. Congratulations to you, Michael. All right, guys. So I got something to tell you guys about. I'm going to take myself to a quick commercial and then we'll play some of this. Yeah, you guys could let me know what that what that meeting was about. I would uh I'd like to know still nonetheless. And was it was it two was it two Tuesdays ago or how how long ago was it? I'll go back and and scour it and see what's happening. Okay. Aetna Better Health of Illinois is coming back to our location here for a back to school health and resource fair. Get ready for that, ladies and gentlemen. When will this be? I'm glad you asked. Friday. Oh, Brent, yes, you know. Oh, snap. Breaking news. Breaking news. We got it like that. <laughs> oh, man. BTP helped us build all of the show and the, and the, and the mechanics of everything. Shout out to my man. Okay. Um, this is going to be Friday, August 12th from 1 to 3 p.m. at VNA Healthcare, 400 North Highland Avenue here in Aurora. Uh, activity zone for kids, free giveaways, free health screenings, and free well-being resources. This is going to be a very good time. Our friends of the Neighbor Project will be there as well, representing and giving you information on housing resources and uh, information for our Aurora FEC, the Financial Empowerment Center as well. For more information, you can call 866-329-4701. The number again is 866-329-4701. 701. The time is 8.30 a.m. All right. Also, don't forget, Fox Valley United Way has their 100th anniversary open house on the first Friday, August 5th from 4.30 to 7 p.m. This will be held at 44 East Galena Boulevard here in Aurora. Join as they celebrate 100 years of serving Kane and Kendall counties. Hosted during the August 1st Friday in downtown Aurora, come out and celebrate. Free and open to the public, the celebration will include children's activities and refreshments. For more information, you can call 630-896-4636. That number again is 630-896-4636. All right. Time is 8.31 a.m. You are listening to and watching Good Morning Aurora, the second largest city's first daily news podcast ladies and gentlemen we are proud to be here it's a beautiful friday and uh, lots of things are going on uh your favorite host will make an appearance to mccarty mills this weekend for sure i ain't been in there in a while i have not been in there in a while so i will be making an appearance at the mills one of these days I, i'm gonna be in there because i gotta go see i gotta go i gotta go refill myself and see what's happening see if my oswego brewing company uh blueberry Sours are in stock. If they are, I'm going to take me three home or something like that. And uh, see my peeps. I haven't seen my peeps in a while. Check out some food if there's some food around and see what's going on. I encourage all of you, all of you great listeners, 
to frequent our local pubs, bars, and establishments and restaurants. Get to know our great people. Check out Torres Mania up there on Lincoln Avenue. Hit up McCarty Mills on River Street and go down to Tavern on Broadway, 24 North Broadway. Owner Mark Hogan is a dear friend of the show, and we like to support our dear friends in town. The time is 832. Come on down tonight to McCarty Mills. Some good stuff is going on. Make sure you're there for August 5th, though. I'm telling you that hip hop and tacos that's going on. Hip hop and tacos is going to be a great event. I will be the host of hip hop and tacos. Yay! Oh, y'all like that. You like that. You want to come see me be the host of hip hop and tacos? Yes, you should. You definitely should. Hip hop and tacos is going to be awesome. August 5th, starting at 6 p.m. I'm the host, and we've got great music that night, too. Cruz Ocho and Justin Wise. The food will be by Chicas Tacos, Jessica Palomo. She's a person I know. And Pierre Lucero will be the featured artist. Tonight is going to be Chaos Bidia Tacos and live music. My stomach is growling. Oh my gosh. So get ready for that. Birria Tacos. Okay. Um, so I am ready to, we're going to talk a little bit here. I'm going to get, I'm going to bring the serious part out now for you guys so that you guys can, you guys can understand um, what's going on, what's happening out here and, and things, you know, as happy as I get, as happy as I get sometimes. As happy as I get, and I see good, and we know good, and we learn about a lot of great things. You know, I keep seeing things that do kind of, kind of upset a brother. They upset me just a little bit. And you know, we don't complain on this show. We don't. You know that. This is not a show for, for pessimists. This is a show for optimists. However, I, I do see, and I do feel, that... Although we've got a, deli- or a, a dedicated and fantastic group of people, individuals, especially in the city who work and do the, and do the good, I have to point out, I don't see the news communicated at the mass level like it should be. I don't. One of the things that bothers me is why does the city still produce flyers that are not in Spanish? I don't know who needs to hear this, but you need to translate everything you do into Spanish now. I mean, it's just not, no longer are we able to just put something out and not translate it into Spanish. Whatever flyer you make needs to be translated into Spanish. Spanish. The word of the day is Spanish. Translate it into Spanish, especially if it has to do with seniors, education, housing, clothing, employment, food, translate it into Spanish, please, please. If you're a city with over 200, if you're a city with over 100,000 people in it, you need to translate everything you're doing into Spanish. Pretty soon, our trans, our translations are going to have to include other languages, perhaps Urdu, Hindi, all kinds of things. Now, what does this mean? It means that we have to reflect a growing, changing, expanding population and dynamic. I was just looking at, at and, I'm not, and I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna name no names. No, we're not gonna do that. But there's a very big event taking place. It's coming soon, huge event. You have to register. There's a small fee, and you're going to learn how to build your credit. You're going to learn how to purchase a home. You're going to learn what's the difference, or is there down payment assistance for you? You can even learn um, what to do if you have an I-10 number. Now, if you have an I-10 number, wouldn't you need that news in Spanish, maybe? Wouldn't that help? So... Again, translate everything you're doing into Spanish. Think further. Think more. Stop living just in the moment. Think about tomorrow. I don't know if we've reached a point yet. Um, 
I, I don't know if we've reached a point yet where everybody is thinking about the future. And that's kind of what's upsetting me. That's that's what made me like kind of get on this tangent right now. I don't see everybody thinking about the future. Think about the future. Think about it. Don't think about just the end of this week. Think about next week. Think about the kids who are leaving middle school going to high school right now. Think about that. The, the way that great empires and great civilizations and great people and here's the great leaders, the, the, the way these things happen is because people are selfless. They're not thinking only about themselves. They're thinking about other people. And I don't know if, well, let me start over. I know that our city does a great job with resources. You look at the, I mean, everything from the drive through food pantries at the Phillips Park. I mean, come on. All we do is win. You look at the um, Phillips, uh, that was a drive through at Phillips Park, but the pet parade at Phillips Park. I mean, you, you just look at all the things we do, the, the way that we're able to shift from a parade to a procession so effortlessly and have that go off. We do a great job. But I just feel like, I don't know, but I feel like although we do a great job, we still have this, we have this old, we have this old 1999 kind of mentality here where instead of making it a piece of mass communication, we'll put it on flyers and send it to people's people put that in junk mail. So let's think bigger. Think broader. Stop thinking about your neighborhood. Think about down the street. National night out is coming. Different wards are going to be having different opportunities, different activities, different initiatives. But don't just stay in your ward. Travel. Say hi to other people. I'll be making the rounds. If you live in Ward 3, get ready to see me. Because I, oh, that rhymed. I like that. I like that. If you live in Ward 3, get ready to see me. You live in Ward 3, get ready to I see know? me. Get ready to Ward 3. How do I know? Okay, I'll stop. All right. Um, so, I, you know, but listen, seriously, I'm, I'm done with my rant. That was my rant. That was my rant. That's what I want to see. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of people send, I'm especially the city. I mean, come on. Really? I'm tired of people sending me professional mass communication and asking me, can I translate it into? No. No. I, I mean, I can. Yeah, I can Google trans. Yeah, sure. Right. I, I could do that. I can copy and paste, but I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to. The time is 840. Okay. Um, so yeah, my dear friend Dan Barreros, love dual language. District 131 has the only district-wide dual language program for all students. This year, the program expands to third grade. That's absolutely fantastic. Look at that. See that? That's what I'm talking about. The school district's doing things that are, I mean, come on, man. But that's, that's congratulations to that. Actually, Dan, I have a question about that too. Is that Benavides STEAM Academy activity? What's, um, is Benavides STEAM Academy doing things? And, and how's things going on um, with that? Leo Zarco is here. Good morning to you, Leo Zarco. Good to see you, brother. D131 had a record number of students getting a seal of bilateral on their high school transcripts. Also, Mandarin is offered as a foreign language at the high school. Our kids need to be competitive. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Rob G is here. Good morning to you, Rob G. Good to see you. And Gonzalez Yuzdevia. Good morning to you as well. I hope that I didn't mess your name up too bad. So, uh... Just let me know if I did that, Gonzalez. All right. Josue Pais is here. That's all I think about, brother. Same thing, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Javier Burgos, good morning to you, dear sir. Glad to see all of you great people here. Hey, before I get to the biliteracy, great stuff. Hey, before I get to the next piece of news that we got, the time is 8.42 a.m., don't forget this week, 
this week. The question of the day, guys, is... Oh, I got your name right. Gonzalez. Thank you very much, Gonzalez. <laughs> we try. <laughs> we try, man. We are... We, uh, we are we are we are a uh, we're a show that appreciates the cultural diversity of everyone. So we we do try, man. We do. Um, but also, don't forget, put in the chat how your week was. Let me know how your week was. Was it a good week? A prosperous week? We hope it was a great week for you guys. Put that in the chat and let me know how it's going. The time is 8.42 a.m. Java Plus is located at 1677 Montgomery Road. Get to know Java Plus and go in there. Check out everything they got. It's good. The tea is great. The coffee is fantastic. And the pastries are to die for. You'll love it. All right. I know a lot of you guys like Curtis, man. Curtis, you go to Treadwell, but you talk about Java Plus. Well, we can walk and chew bubble gum. So, so there's that. Okay, let's move on. I got a lot of news. I told you guys. I, got, I gave you jobs. I gave you the sound of music. I gave you mental health. Are you not entertained? And I also gave you the message from Diane Renner, executive director of Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry. Okay. All right, let's move it on. Let's move it on. Thank you very much. Brand new breaking news. A lot of breaking news on this show. How money works for kids. Learn the smart money moves for our youth. Saturday, August 20th from 11 a.m. to noon. This will be Cotton Sea Creative Exchange, 64 South River Street here in Aurora. Michael Rayford will be the presenter. My man, Michael Rayford, do a good job, my brother. I'm sure that you will. Now, uh, I have the flyer. There's a QR code for registration. We'll pay, We'll make a post about this and, and uh, send it out there. For more information, you can call 630-569-3734. The number again is 630-569-3734. Michael, thank you very much for this flyer. Cotton Seed Creative Exchange is a fantastic uh, place located downtown on River Street. Um, basically, it's right across the street from the parking lot that's adjacent to LTO. So uh, go over there. Yvonne is a dear friend of the show. She's also a Navy veteran. So we support Yvonne and we support the Navy. We support the military and we support everybody here on this show. We are proud to be the Great American Morning Show. Okay. Uh, coming up next, 2015 Tony Award winner. What time is it? 8.45 a.m. Anton, Kurt, you had me at tacos. <laughs> Good morning to you, Diesel. Dear friend Diesel out there, man. Get to know CBN, Cycle Vision Network, the greatest motorcycle show that you'll ever watch. Uh, open Roads with Gina. All of that. Shout out to Cycle Vision Network. Harmonic HVAC. Shout out to them as well. Good people. All right. Uh, August 10th through 11th with a 7 p.m. curtain time is going to be Fun Home, the Tony, 2015 Tony Award winner for Best Musical. Uh, please respond by August 5th. You can RSVP at ParamountArts.com. That's your RSVP. This will be at the Copley Theater, North Island Center, 8 East Galena Boulevard in downtown Aurora. Behind closed doors, there's a different story where memories linger like snowflakes. And the truth is always opaque. Where finding yourself means looking to the past and seeing yourself reflected in your father, who is exactly the same and still so different than you. It's a place filled with humor, secrets, anger, unexpected joy, self-revelation, and the most confounding thing of all, family. Paramount Theater presents the Tony Award winning Best Musical. Books and lyrics are by Lisa Crone, music by Janine Tesori, based on the popular graphic novel of the same name by Allison Bechdel, the third production in its inaugural four show bold series. Bechdel's autobiographical uh, story is about her discovery of her own sexuality, her relationship with her closeted gay father, and her attempts to unlock the mystery surrounding his life. It's in line with the bold mission to bring fearless, thought-provoking, and unexpected new forms of live theater to downtown Aurora. Jim Cordy, Paramount Theater's artistic director, co-directs Fun Home with Landry Fleming, her Paramount directing debut. Awesome. The Copley Theater, a slick state-of-the-art 165-seat theater with a modern new lobby bar and lounge located right across the street from Paramount. 
The reopened past March is downtown Aurora's newest live theater space following a two-year, $2 million top-to-bottom renovation. For more information or for tickets, 630-896-6666. That number again is 630-896-6666. The time is 847 a.m. Dream Girls begins August 31st and goes to October 16th. Get to know the Broadway subscriptions and the season uh, schedule by going to the Paramount's website. The Sound of Music follows up at November 9th through January 8th. And Into the Woods is going to be February 1st through March. Good stuff. Um, so lots of good things are coming up, you guys. The time is 8 47 a.m. Yikes. The time is just going by oh so fast. Oh, so quickly. Oh, so immediate. I love this. Okay. Now, still got more stuff to do. Still got more stuff to go. Still got more things to talk about, you guys. I told you that single tickets are on sale for Broadway sales. Tickets start at just $28. $28. You spend, you spend more than that at, at Starbucks. You do. Starbucks is expensive, especially if you DoorDash. Have you ever DoorDash Starbucks? talking like 80 bucks for two coffees all right um but yes 28 dollars that's what's going on um great single ticket price so those are very affordable one of the best things about our great city is that our paramount events are so affordable okay last but not least guys um mark your calendars for great stuff that's coming up um september 17th is going to be the neighbor projects fundraiser starry night this is going to be a great fundraising and uh downtown aurora event this will take place at the venue great show great food and we will honor the stars in our community who are doing great work on behalf of others for those of you who are not familiar with the neighbor project the neighbor project is your premier home ownership hud approved housing agency here in aurora the aurora financial empowerment center funded by the city of aurora and staffed by the neighbor project is here to help build credit and learn how money works and to help people learn financial literacy so for more information, you can go to the Neighbor Project's website at neighborproject.us or uh, go to the City of Aurora's website, type in Financial Empowerment Center, hit the link, and get sent directly to the website. All of their services are free and open to the public. The time is 8.50 a.m. Wow. Yikes. Okay, guys, let's keep moving on. Let's keep moving right along. Um, I'm glad to say that I am... I am the kind of person who believes in other people. I'm the kind of person who wants to make the sandbox wider. We live in a beautiful town. We really do. The GAR is getting an update too, if you guys have not seen it. Um, it's coming back to life. There's a lot of, there's been some construction. The, um, the GAR soldier, also known as the Sentinel, I think it's been returned to the top of the steeple up there. I'm going to go by and take a look and see with some pictures. But we live in a great town. We live in a great city here. Um, but what we have to do, guys, remember, remember, democracy is not a spectator sport. How involved are you? How about that? How involved are you? Can you be doing more? Can you be helping more people? Are you registered to vote? When was the last time you voted? All of these things are questions that I'm asking because I believe and we believe and you believe and so many of us believe that the way that we will be able to make and keep the kind of world and society that we want is for us all to do our part, for us all to do what we can, get involved, knock on doors, learn, watch, repeat, read. Let's do what we can to continue to make our city great. I am blessed to live in a place where so many people are doing the work that it takes to make us all feel better and feel safe. Whether it's Boss Babes or the Aurora Township Dems, whether it's Marie Wilkins' Food Pantry or the Aurora Interfaith Food Pantry, 
whether it's VNA Healthcare or District 131 or 129, we are all doing what we can and we're all working together as a team. I get so excited every single day when I go through downtown or when people tell me something that I didn't know. I get so happy when I see kids playing in places that they never played before. I get ecstatic every time I see glass and every time I see broken glass removed and fresh paint added. And all I want is to keep seeing it over and over and over again. We can be pessimistic. We can be negative. We could be, we could be, what could we be? There's enough to be upset about. But there's way more than that to be happy about. When you go the next time, if, and I want you, to, want you to remember this. The next time you're driving north on Lake Street, when you get to, um, I think that's Illinois. Yeah. When you go north on Lake Street and you get to Illinois, Prisco Center is going to be on your right-hand side. And across the street is the Pizza Hut, long closed down, I believe. That's coming back to a restaurant. There's a lot of stuff taking place here. But the only way we're going to keep it nice, the only way that we're going to retain what we have in a positive fashion is if we all play together and work to make the city great. Uh, You know, I I want to I want to say thank you to all the people who are doing great things. I personally want to say thank you to the city staff. The city staff does a great job. Shout out to my man, Mike Nelson. All these people are doing great things. Megan Conrad from the Paramount Theater. So many people are doing great things. So let's keep it that way. And I know what you're saying. Curtis, you tell us this. You tell us this every week, man. Well, I want you to I don't want you to forget it. That's the thing. I don't want you to forget it. Because sometimes I think that you guys do forget. I think you forget every now and then. I do. I read comments. I do. I think you guys forget. Oh, man, woe is me. No, it's not a woe is me thing. Right now, we're downtown Aurora. This show, this show is live daily from downtown Aurora. We're right across the street. We're around the corner. We're up the block from so many of you great people. So when we see each other in town, that's one thing. But when we see each other in far flung places, that's another. And that's where I get. Ha- that's what makes me happy. That's it. When I walked into a when I walked in, when I walked into a church in in St. Charles and saw Aisha Saxon, I was happy. I was proud. I was proud because I'm able to see the people who live here going places to do things to make this place. I can't I can't bang my fist because the mic will mess up. Uh. Wow, I just remembered that. That's good. Um, I'm, I'm glad when I see people in far-flung places learning, gathering strength, gathering opportunity to bring it back here and do good things. Um, so I, I just want to keep. I just want to keep that up, man. I really do. Uh, let's keep an eye on the development that we have, but let's also make sure that we're um, we're being good advocates and good voices for our city. Let's be, you know, let's let's keep to make our let's keep doing our thing to make our city great. Um, the time is 8.55 a.m. Gonzalez says, I moved to another city and I miss Aurora so much. There's lots to do there. So many opportunities. Thank you very much for that, Gonzalez. Where'd you move to? I hope it's a good place and I hope that you're having a fair and prosperous time there. J.L. Harris is here. Good morning to you, J.L. Michael Ely is here. Good morning to you, Michael. Nora Peterson says, got an article in The Voice this week. If you get a chance to check it out, I will check it out. I will read the news. I'm glad that you got your chance in there. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Dan. Benavidez Steam Academy is K through two. Thank you. It takes students district wide. They are doing great things there. The late Ann Benavides was a friend of mine. Okay. A little bit of history. I did not know that. Anna says, when I became a citizen, when I become a citizen, I will definitely be voting. Uh, I have my test scheduled for August 24th. Wish me luck. 23 years in the country is finally happening. Hit the claps for that. You know what? I That's. Yay! Right. We wish you the very best, Anna. You'll do a good job on your citizenship exam. We, we really wish the best for you. So congratulations. Uh, study. Study. Don't get the easy stuff wrong. You know, who was George Washington? Uh, he played for the Rams. No. So 
Do your studying. Get your homework in. Uh, Gonzalez moved to DeKalb. All right. Shout out to DeKalb. Benavides is a feeder school for the Fred Rogers Magnet Academy. Very cool. Very good to know. All right. The time is 8.57 a.m., ladies and gentlemen. This has been a heck of a show. This has been a heck of a week. We started off with Brooke Shanley, and we ended with Jen Mendoza and the Mendoza family. Um, Evelyn Marie Mendoza, a great author. August 6th, come on out. The month of August is going to be great. So many great things. Hip-hop and tacos at McCarty Mills. Uh, Back-to-school events going on. You know, um, lots of great things are happening here in the city. Good morning, Aurora. We'd like to say thank you very much to our friends, our followers, our listeners, our subscribers, all of our friends of the show, our colleagues, our elected officials, our community partners, and just so many people. All the nonprofits doing great things. Thank you to our veterans. Thank you very much to American Roosevelt Legion Post 84. Thank you to all the people who continue to do great things in the city. Um, the future is bright, but I'll tell you this, stay tuned because Good Morning Roar has got some more good stuff coming up soon. We are consistent. We're, we are you know, we're like the boy. We're the all we we're the we turn into butterflies. We're the caterpillars. That's what we are. Caterpillars. Butterflies every week. That's what we do. Um, so God bless you all. I hope that you have a great weekend. Make it a positive, uplifting, beautiful weekend. Don't sweat the small stuff. If it's not putting food on your table, it does not matter. Take care of yourself and each other.